Hey there, game makers, and welcome to the fourth of how to make a platformer in Game Maker. And today we're gonna do just reshuffling code, so we are just organizing it to look more nicer. And this, what we're gonna do first of all with packaging stuff into scripts. So scripts are just basically the same code, just you know being external, and then you can reuse it. And then we of course use a state machine to keep it neat and nice and organized. And don't worry, state machines are pretty simple. So basically a state machine is a state of thing. So for example, this dude has now three states, one where he's idling, so he's just doing his like whatever pose that is supposed to be, then one for running or walking, and one basically for jumping or falling or whatever you want to call that state. And then later on you can just go more granular. And the importance of the state machine is that you have a current state running, so let's say you are an idle, but we are pressing to the right or to the left, then we are breaking out of the state. This is important. So basically you have the state which is running and then assigning a, a specific image to it, a, a specific sprite, but then um, you need to have a, a way to break out of them to to enter a different state. And this is how the code is getting organized and then it's getting easier. So let's start off with um, well recycling code or well, basically packaging it into scripts to make it easier. So for example, this part of gravity, uh, as you can see, it's quite long, it's quite convoluted and all that parts like, uh, it looks already a little bit messy. So the first of all, we can just call it and call it script gravity, call it whatever you like. This is just for falling down. Please, please don't be alarmed that it's instantly saying like, hey, gravity, this script does exist. No, it does not, it's gone. It's still in cache. <laughs> so um, it normally it would appear blue in your code. So we just call it gravity. I just instantly close it. Of course, you can just uh, open it up somewhere else. But I'm a fan of, let's say, having something like this, and I press F1, and then it opens here, um, well, to the right, then you see uh, it's a link. So this is kind of a nice way how to do that. So what do we do? Well, we just take the whole code, boom, and then um, just place it here, and as you can see, this is definitely, oh, this is definitely looking much nicer, and of course, getting rid of that part here. So this is the gravity part. Just make it like this. Everything is here. This will crash. Why? Because, well, the local variable on ground, which we uh, made local, well, is just valid on this event, but not here. And then here it's just saying, like, I don't know this local variable, or I don't know this variable because it hasn't been defined in our create event. Once we start, it's just saying, eh, um, not working. So we just add it here really quickly. So face uh, on ground. And then, uh, yeah, just uh, get rid of the var. And then once we started, everything is working again. As you can see, we just reshuffled code. That's it, nothing special in here. So we can just still walk and jump or be idle. All right, the next thing which we want to do is, well, create a state machine. For that, we just have one little variable which will toggle between the states, so states. And then we call it, as, as for the beginning, idle. And then we just copy this one. And actually, uh, well, say like, hey, switch. So this is basically just a big if statement, it's like if, 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 and having different cases. So here, case, well, if we are in our first case, which is idle, then of course we need this little keyword which is called break. This is so we don't go to the next case and jump. We just, you know, break here and then this is staying here. And then of course we need to input what we are checking in the switch statement. And now, uh, well, nothing is happening because, well, we don't do anything. For that, we just say scripts and then uh, states and then, I don't know, idle. Hopefully this is blue. Is it blue? Come on. Yes. Should be blue, so this is getting killed, kicked out of cache. So here, the state. So we create a new script. Call it this way. I've got once again, I close it, and then open it to the right. So F1, boom, opening it up. And what do we do in our idle state? So first of all, we run gravity. So we just copy and paste that in here. So it's neatly in our 
idle state. We can just close this one here. And what's actually happening? So first of all, if we are idle, we just do one thing. We attach a say like, hey, our sprite index is idle. So we just copy this code. So we can just call it sprite handling. And then set it to one. And then we need a break out. So we're just asking like, hey, are we breaking out of this state? So now you just have to imagine what kind of things can we do to break out of the idle state? So there are two things. And the first one would be just going left or right. And this is actually what we're having here. So here, if our move x, which is defined once again at the top here, is not zero, then we are swapping our state because we are no longer idle. So state, and then you just call it walk. Later on, we will do some run, but not today in our tutorial. So how do we break out? Well, by moving. And then, there's, of course, there's a second one, but we're going to do this later on. So for now, not too much is happening because once we uh, <laughs> go from our idle state into our uh, walk state, we would lock ourselves out. So let's actually try it. So let's say we are idle and we're pressing to the right. And then we do this. We're just like, oh, what's happening? Still, this is kind of neat, but not what we want to have. And therefore, uh, all this old code is still snapping into it, which we don't want. This is, this is bad stuff. So <laughs> we just go and create our walk state and call our own state script here walk. This does not exist. So we just copy paste this jolly here. So walk and of course, uh, copy it here, open it up once and do something like this. This is interesting. It did not copy that. Come on, you have to idle. Here we go. And then call it uh, walk because here it did give it the same name, which we don't want. So we just close this dude here and open it on the right side and as you can see idle and walk are pretty much the same so if, but of course if we just go and uh -huh, interesting that he is still having this one in uh, memory walk now it's correct all right so we just have our walk state we have the same gravity but of course if we are walking we say walk and then actually we actually get rid of this code because we are not using it right now. And then what do we do? First of all, we are if we are walking, then we are flipping our image. Uh, X scale, this is the code which we had before here. So if you are going to the left, we flip it to minus one. And then if we are uh, well, going to the right, we flip it to, well, to the right one. So here, once again, this code then works. But how do we now break out of the state if we, let's say, don't walk? So we, if we don't press left to the right, well, we just say like, hey, we're not moving. So uh, uh, move X is zero. Then we just go back to idle. So once again, hopefully I'm not breaking too much. So we just uh, are on idle and then we go to our uh, walk. And of course, if I'm pressing this one here, it does work. This is great. But of course, I kind of disabled our in quotations false state a little bit. So this is kind of working right now, which is great. Then we have to go to our last state, which is once again, we just copy that thing and call it a jump fall. Well, let's call it jump. And then once again, create a new script. Jump. Here we go. Copy this dude, call it jump, and then call it jump as well. So in this jump state, what's important here? Well, first of all, our sprite index is jumping. So he's doing, oh, how do you call it? Uh, fall jump. Here we go. And then, of course, if we are uh, going to the left or to the right, pressing to the left, to the right, then we also change the MHX scale. So this is kind of like a walk, but in, in flying. But how do we break out? So if we are pressing 
a move x so if move x is zero or not zero does not really matter because this is just defining if you are well, flying <laughs> downwards uh, like in one spot or if we're just moving a little bit to the left or to the right so this one is not a breakout criteria so what could be one well we actually have one in gravity so if we just open it up we have this little variable which is on ground so let's say if we are on ground and say like hey it's true we landed somewhere well our state is then again idle this is the great part and then for example um, this is how we end our jump uh, well state and of course we can reuse this part here for example let's say um, a second method would be and this is overriding it Override. here we go so let's say we are not on the ground anymore because we pressed our jump button so we say false then our state is jump and the same goes for our walking and boom we override it and then for example we are walking then we press our jump key and then we uh, have no ground below us then we entering the jump phase or jump state as you can see uh, we can get rid of all that stuff and this is looking much cleaner much nicer and then you can just input more states and one is for attacking uh, hanging on to stuff doing special attacks and god knows what so therefore this code ah va bene <laughs> it's definitely molto bene it's definitely better here so let's actually start it off and then we can walk we can idle and then we can jump and then the correct sprite is being attached and as you can see nothing fundamentally has changed but our code is definitely more uh, more granular and baked into the state machine and then therefore it becomes more handleable. and as you can see um, if we externalize things into uh, well scripts then we can reuse them and then for example maybe you have another script script running here and here and there and then you can just reuse the code and you don't have to write all the stuff again and again and again and this is the idea behind you know the state machine and just packaging stuff into scripts so hopefully that was of interest to you once again um this may sound a little bit convoluted but um that approach is kind of a standard because once code is getting like too long too complicated too messy um, this is putting stuff more into focus more into perspective and it's making uh, while your life developing much 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 easier Alrighty, hopefully that made sense and see you the next time have a good one one up indie